GDPR is here, so there is no time to lose. Let's introduce you to GDPR Compliance, the open card extension that will get your store prepared to meet all the new personal data regulations. So after you've installed our extension, the first step is to enable it. After you do that, you can check this off as complete in your personal checklist over here. As you can see, you will be able to mark your progress until your store reaches full GDPR compliance. Now let's head back to settings. So the next step here is optional. You can add a link to the GDPR module in your main admin menu. This is how it's going to look like. It's meant for easy access to your GDPR extension when you need to process personal data requests. Ok, so next step is to display a link to the GDPR tools your customers can use in your footer. This link will lead them to the page where they can make their personal data requests and manage their personal data. Again, step complete. So we mark it in the checklist. The rest of the settings here are for the SEO URL of the page with the GDPR tools, as well as the expiration time of GDPR requests. Once a customer submits a request, they will receive a link via email that will have an expiration time. You can set that time here. Ok, let's go back to the checklist and see step number 3. Test the extension in your storefront. Click the link that will take you to the new GDPR tools page in your store. This is where your customers will manage their data and send requests. The data rectification section is where your customers will be able to update their data, change their password or manage their newsletter preferences. The data portability section is where customers can submit a GDPR request, ask for their personal information, saved addresses and orders. The personal data section will let them request a report with all the personal data your open car store has stored for them. Last, right to be forgotten. This feature lets customers ask for their data to be completely deleted from the store. This includes deleting their customer accounts as well. Ok, everything seems to be fine, so step number 3 is complete as well. Next stop is privacy policy updates. This step is where you update your privacy policy with the required information by the GDPR. You have links that lead to your store's information pages where your privacy policy is located. In case you don't have a privacy policy, there is a link that leads to the creation of one. If you need tips on how to create a GDPR compliant privacy policy, check the blog post over here. Ok, let's say that the privacy policy is now created, we will mark it off and continue to the next step, which is terms and conditions. So that will be the same as privacy policy, where you have a link to your information pages and one for creating a new page if you don't have, the, if you don't have one with the terms and conditions basically. Once you're done with that, move on to the next steps where we will start testing the module. Allow your clients to access their personal data. You can test the feature in the storefront using the link here. Ok, this is how customers will submit personal data requests. They simply enter their email and hit continue. And that's it. So let's mark this as a success. Right to the next one, we have right to be forgotten. Again. Hit the link to see the feature in the storefront. This is where customers will submit requests for their account to be deleted alongside with their personal data. So we enter an email address and that's about it. Customers will receive an email with a link that will delete their data when clicked. Mark this off and move on. Next stop, allow customers to edit their data. Now let's explore how this works. 
The link here will lead you to the account section in OpenCart. Customers are able to edit their personal information from the My Account section over here. This includes account information, password and addresses. GDPR compliance also displays a link to the GDPR toolset in the account section of your customers. So that's checked off. Next, cookie consent bar. First, you enable your cookie consent bar. Next, you select whether you want to have a link to the privacy policy in the cookie bar. Also, enable the click tracking so you can keep track of how many people accepted your cookie and privacy policy. And that's an important step, of course. The next field is to configure the cookie bar behavior when customers don't take any action on it. Now, we have four options here to block analytics cookies, marketing cookies or both, or have them working together until visitors accept that. Right, so next stop, configuring the cookie bar behavior when visitors just close the cookie bar. You have the same option as above. Just select whether you want to block or keep the cookies working until the visitor accepts. This field over here lets you add a small button on the top of or bottom of the pages that reveals the cookie consent bar again if visitor has closed it. Simply enable or disable it. Okay, let's save our progress for now. Next is the cookie management section. This is where you configure your strictly required cookies. The cookies for analytics and statistics and cookies for marketing and retargeting. Next stop is customizing your bar, making it your very own. So you have a field for every type of text your cookie bar has for the main message and the link to your privacy policy to accept and close buttons. You also have a button for the cookie preferences your customers will be able to select. Moving down, we have a few more fields. First, selecting the position for your cookie bar. Next, configuring the colors of the bar, the text and the buttons. The last field here lets you add custom CSS styles to the bar if you want some specific changes to it. If you're all done, click save and let's see how the cookie consent bar looks in the storefront. In our example, it appears at the bottom of the page. First, we have a text notification that the website uses cookies. After that, there is the link to the privacy policy. On the right side of the bar, you have the buttons to close the bar, accept the policy or edit your preferences. So your customers will be able to configure their preferences and save the changes at any time they please. Once a visitor hits I agree, their click will be logged in the extensions records if you've enabled the link tracking and we strongly recommend that. Okay, let's show you where those clicks are locked right now. So go back to the module settings and click on the policy acceptance. So this is where you can see detailed information about the acceptance, including the type of policy accepted, user agent info, language, client IP and date. While we're here, let's show you the requests tab. This is where all the personal data requests will be locked. So with this, we can conclude our checklist. And I think we did a great job. Okay, there are just two small fields we want to show you. First is the third party services where you can enter all the services you're using and sharing personal data to. And second, the data security where you can notify customers of a data security breach. And uh, that's about it. Your store is now officially GDPR compliant. Congratulations, you did an amazing job. For more open car tutorials, Subscribe to our channel and give a like to this video if it helped you learn something new. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.